Hello everyone and welcome to my video. This is Bart Coppens with Drawer of the Week. I am a honorary conservator of this museum collection and in my video series Drawer of the Week I show you uh, one drawer of insects every week that is of particular interest to me that I want to show to my viewers. Okay, so We are currently in the Natural History Museum of Rotterdam and for this week I pick this particular drawer with um, Lycaenidae butterflies, also known as blues, blue butterflies. Now I'm a Lepidopterist, however my specialism is moths and not butterflies. So I do not know as much about butterflies as about moths. And I will be telling you something about them today, but my information is not very comprehensive, okay? So it's also best to enjoy their looks. Now this one caught my attention in particular. Its color is out of this world. And the species is Hippocrysops, uh, Hippocrysops polycletus. And Hippocrysops butterflies are from the, from the Indo-Australian uh, Eco region. In fact, all of the butterflies in this drawer are from uh, Indo Australia. That means they are from Papua, Australia, or New Zealand. And these hippocrysops come from the same region. As far as I know, their food plants are not known. Uh, underside is also very nice. It has been suggested that their food plants could be mistletoe or perhaps Rubiacea, something from the coffee family. Now these types of butterflies commonly have mutualistic associations with ants. The caterpillars may feed on, uh, on ants or their pupa or invade or infiltrate ant nests. But in some cases they also just offer protection and they secrete sweet, sweet substances as larvae it convinced the ants to uh, protect the caterpillars. And these hippocrysops are amazing, they're like jewels. And this has given them, in fact, the common name jewel. These are called jewel butterflies, right? I think we can all understand why. So here's another beautiful one. It's called the Yamenus evagoras. And I believe this one's from Australia. And it's called the Imperial Hair Streak. Look at these colors, wow. And I believe the caterpillars of the Imperial Hair Streak, they uh, eat Fabaceae trees, in particular they eat Acacia. However, the caterpillars also have a mutualistic association with uh, ants. The ants protect the caterpillars from predators and in return the ants they secrete very sweet substances that the ants like. So both species they benefit from it. And here we have some other hippocrysops. Amazing colors. What's this one? Now this one's called the Danis Danis, but I don't know anything about this one because, as I said, my specialism. Oh wow! Look at that under. What a beautiful underside. My specialism are moths and not butterflies. So in some cases, I don't have information for you because, like I said, it's not my area of expertise. Okay, just sharing these with all of you. Last but not least, here we have an interesting one. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a purple iridescence. And this beauty is called the Lycaena boldenarum. It's endemic to New Zealand, and it's, that means it's only found in New Zealand and nowhere else in the world. Caterpillars, they feed on a type of creeping vine. I forgot the scientific name, but I believe it's called Mullenbeckeria. 
let me know if I have this correct or not. However, this is their only food plant in New Zealand. And it's a beautiful little butterfly, really interesting. Especially the color is very unique. Not very often do you see purple iridescence. Oh, in that regard, it's one of my favorite blues. Anyways, thank you for watching. This was Bart Coppens with Drawer of the Week. Until next week.